that could go away. The result, starting with an 80,000 seat Olympic stadium, the end result was... <laughs> I was trying to organize our, uh, our next speaker, but I guess it's me. <laughs> right, the Olympic stadium, uh, this is designed by uh, Populous, formerly HOK Sport, constructed by McAlpine. Uh, the interesting thing... All of these are wetland areas to create new wetland habitats because that's one of the... Um, we've got a biodiversity policy and a sustainability policy. All of the newts that were on the site have been moved upstream to Lee Valley and uh, they'll have had their four-year holiday and they'll be brought back. <laughs> So it's got a very limited life. Yeah, this anyway. one is actually, I mean, the PVC is not a material we would have chosen from a sustainability standpoint. Uh, but they, they use the wood as the theme, and it's carried through all the detailing on the inside, obviously the uh, exterior here, and it's really an exquisite structure inside. Um, ultimately, it will be part of a whole big site. So if you look on the right there, I just get a bit excited about this, you can see, can you just see that shiny, Mirror-like bridge closures, which were required by the utilities companies uh, to mitigate them somewhat. It really works a lot, but basically kids should go around licking PVC effectively, and that's what's happened. Therefore, kids can now lick our PVC and they'll be they'll be happy as they're getting stomach problems. So we do have a fallen free, and I think the, so the, the, the early things is, is you can't create high-value housing and you can't create family housing unless you've got the facilities nearby to support it. That's why the school was very important, and that's black on it, and trying to keep those buildings heavy, belonging to the sort of archaeology.